my wife Louise and I came down here and uh, you know it's quite a remote spot and I said to her you know it'll, it'll only be for 18 months and then we'll 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 have it all up and running and we will have passed it on to another family and we'll be able to come back and enjoy it well 25 years later we're still here <laughs> yeah you're in the dusty dry bowl of uh, the Mackenzie, which at this time of the year it's dusty and dry and then as you start to get past those flats and the straight and so on you wind around a bit and then one corner you turn around and suddenly the lake is there the water that we drink and the water in the lake is, is beautifully pure it's marvelous and I guess it's filtered by the rocks and so on the snow as it melts filtered and comes out of the spring and we have the most sublime beautifully pure water so we're still away from the, um, all the uses that water is used for and all the damage it can uh, incur further downstream. But yep, we're first in line to use the beautiful water. We have a responsibility to see, being at the top of the, the, the water chain, that it is pure when it leaves here and uh, the next people to use it have nice, clean water. We understand our guests quite well and they're coming to this alternative place, it's not a Queenstown, it's not a Wanaka, it's a place which is still remains reasonably untouched and, and a wilderness side to it and it is a deep concern to us that with the advent if you like of, doesn't matter whether it's dairy farming, but industrial farming and the landscape starts to change and be, have uh, fences, buildings, tractors, all sorts of things and, uh, and then again great big irrigation pivots and so on. The view from uh, the ski field, which is one of the greatest features of our snow field, w would be lost. Um, yeah, Oha is a very special place and the lake, the water, the mountains with the snow on them, they all help to make this place what it is. Yeah.